Now to the earthquake outbreak, three deadly quakes in three days. The soaring death toll, the search for victims now underway. In Ecuador, surveillance video showing the moment disaster struck, items flying off shelves. The quake measuring 7.8, more than 230 killed. And in Japan, more than 40 people are dead after two earthquakes hit there. Rescuers searching for missing victims. What's known as the Ring of Fire, take a look, lining the Pacific, running along the American West Coast. New concerns tonight about the big one hitting here. ABC's Matt Gutman in Japan. The third massive quake, the strongest yet, leaving shoppers screaming, products tumbling off the shelves, and then darkness. The epicenter of this powerful 7.8 magnitude quake just 110 miles west of Ecuador's capital. Its president saying today, hundreds are dead. This man using his hands to dig into a mountain of bricks. He tells us three are alive and a girl is dead. Tonight, experts warning the United States is also in danger. We're all on the ring of fire. This is a very active part of the earth and it's a reminder that this is a hazard that we face. Across the Pacific, a spasm of hundreds of earthquakes and aftershocks killing dozens. Most of the dead in the town of Mashiki. At this one on Friday, rescuers gently delivering this nine-month-old baby girl from death's grip. That rescue, the one bright spot amid the grim task of recovery. In that same neighborhood, we found these rescuers. So this crew's checking out the hardest hit homes and one house in particular that they want to hit is the one where that nine-month-old baby girl was rescued from. They want to make sure that nobody is still in there. Minutes later, they found it. So this rescue crew finally found the house where they rescued that eight-month-old girl just a couple of days ago. And when you look at this house, it's incredible that anyone was able to survive. Then a man approached us. He said he was the baby's grandfather. Her name, Baby Miku. Rescued. Rescued, exactly. Rescued you. Thank God, right? Wow. He then tells us we can meet her, hopping in the only possession he has left. Hi, sweet girl. And she was right there when we walked up to the shelter. Yeah. Whoa. All cheeks and completely unscathed. Miku's family told me they lost everything in the quake, but also that they found the most important thing, their family. But the recovery here is being hampered by hundreds of aftershocks and the fear that another massive one could come at any time. Tom.